Hello everyone, it's Rory from Pratt's Pods and today I'm going to repair a Motorola G6. So, get the camera here. This has been on my heat, heat plate a little while. So I'm going to gain entry with a plastic card. If I can get in there. Excuse my face being in the way there. Gain entry with a plastic card. And then I go around with a playing card. The glass on these are very delicate. I try my best to get it off without causing any further damage. That's why we use a playing card because they're nice and thin. And they shouldn't technically cause any damage to the glass. We yet to cause any damage to the glass with them, but that being said, it's the first time for everything, so no doubt that'll be while I'm videoing. You'll just hear me curse. There you go. That seems to be coming off quite nicely. There we go. So that's that back off. Just bear with me one second while I make sure where the screen is. I should have that to hand. So I'm going to clean off the adhesive now rather than later. Clean the adhesive off around the edge there. To be honest, there's not a lot, most of it stayed on the back glass by the looks of it, which is good for me. Now, take out the screws for all this bottom part. Right, I'll save for all this bottom part. Take out all the screws. Very busy day ahead of us today. I've got a whole stack of board stuff to do. I think I'm going to be a late, to be honest. On top of that, I've got some headphones to repair. I've got quite a few iPads to do. I'm going to try and get as much of it as I can on video for you all. Um, really trying to boost the videos at the moment. So now this plastic bezel should come off quite nicely. Oh. I've missed one. I knew there'd be a hidden one. Who's there? So, put that out. Sort that line out in a bit. So, <clears throat> put that bit off. Screen connectors are these two down here. Before I touch them, I'm going to come here and unplug this battery, which is always the first thing you should do any electrical repair. 
And then I'm gonna go and unplug the screen. I think, to be honest, I'll unplug that one as well, just in case. That's gonna be the home button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the heat mat now. Um, I'll come back, I, I won't bore you while it's on the heat mat, so I'll come back in a moment um, when I come to removing the screen. Right, so now I'm back with this Motorola. Um, I'm going to come in from this side with my tool. Now it's heated up. I just want to get a good little opening gap and then I can get a card in there again. So we don't cause any damage to the frame. Knackered nail. Great thing with playing cards is they are cheap as chips. So you can just use them once, throw them away. I mean, the thing with the playing cards is you have to get the plasticky ones. Um, you get the plasticky playing cards, and they have a good bit of give on them. Yeah, they're weak enough not to cause any more damage to anything. All round, they're a really good idea. You can see they slice through the adhesive pretty well. To be honest, there's probably a load of people screaming out saying, oh, you should have taken it off, taken the board out of it. I thought I'd try cutting corners this time. So I've done these before and I've taken the board out. I don't think it's really going to make much difference, to be honest. Sorry, you probably didn't see any of that. Just for this bottom bit where all the damage is, I'm not using a card. Because I know the home button's down here. I don't want to be damaging the home button. So there we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to lift this bit of the board a tiny bit so I can get these connectors out. And I would say that was 100% definitely easier than removing that board. So, now I've got to clean the frame around here. Okay, now I'm going to go over with the alcohol wipe again. You guys are going to get bored of me saying this stuff. You guys are going to get so bored of my voice. Believe me, I do. I know my wife does too. Apparently, I'm a talker. I suppose it's good for some things, not so good for others. Like I say, we repair all manner of devices, so smartphones, tablets, computers, televisions. Most of them we repair to component level, unlike a lot of our competition. Um, that's what we do the most of. We don't do a whole load of... Well, we do a fair amount of screens and that, but we predominantly aim at board level rework so this home button has got a lot of excess glass on it that's going to need cleaning off so what i'll do 
is I will just peel off the adhesive of this because we don't want any of that old glass to damage the new screen. Tiniest little bit of the old glass. With a bit of pressure can damage the new screen which is obviously the last thing we want. So I'm going to remove that adhesive to make sure all that glass is gone. And what I'll do is I'll put a little bit of new stuff around there um, in just a minute. So next we want earpiece mesh from the old screen for the new one. There. And I believe that's it. So here's the new screen. <clears throat> Start with the easy parts, the earpiece mesh. There we go, that's all in place. Um, I have to sim this. I mean, this isn't important. This is just a film that goes over the LCD, but we do like to keep things original. Or as, as original as possible um, parts we use for things like motor rollers and stuff like that are actually original you can see same model obviously different serial number but you're not gonna get any better screens than original quality so where possible we'll always fit original parts um, obviously it's much easier said than done with Apple devices even if you do get someone that tells you they're fitting original parts on an iPhone, it's not original. The closest they can get to original will be refurbished. Um, now I'm not knocking refurbished. If it's done well, it can be very good. But if it's done badly, it can be bloody terrible. Um, and you never really know what you're going to get, unfortunately. So come here with some of this adhesive. Now this adhesive we don't use very often. We pretty much only use this for home buttons and stuff like that when they need new adhesive around the edge. This black stuff is just pants. It doesn't exactly, I mean the thing is with these home buttons and that, we're not here doing this adhesive to bond it to the screen. We're doing it as a bit of a spacer. Space it away from the screen a little bit. That is the point of this adhesive round home button. Um, so like I say, it doesn't have to be anything strong. It just has to provide that little bit of space away from the screen. So. There we go. Especially now with most home buttons not being clicky buttons, um, they do have to line up pretty well. There, that's lovely. Brilliant. So, I'm going to connect it up now, test it before I install it. Okay, so that's all connected up. <clears throat> we have power there. I'm just going to put my next 
flicked in. I'm going to get that off my heat mat. And while that boots, I'm just going to get on with a couple of other little bits quickly. And so please excuse me for being slightly absent minded. Is that? I thought that looked like it booted for a second there. Did that boot? Definitely looked like it booted there. There you go. So, you probably can't see very well there. It's a very dim screen. But um, we're there. There you go. It's brightened up now. So, that's that. That screen's working fine. I can disconnect it and I can get that fitted on here. So, what I will be using to fit this screen is. T7000. So this is just like the B7000, but it is black. Obviously, it's a black phone. Makes a little bit more sense. Um, we only use this for selected devices. Um, otherwise, we will use either our own adhesive or pre-cut adhesive strips. Um, now, I can say from experience, we spent years not using pre-cut adhesive strips. That is for several reasons. Um, you never know what you're getting with them. I mean, we when we first started doing this years and years ago, we got awful adhesive strips. Cheap, nasty stuff. We didn't know any better. Um, I think everyone starts out that way, unfortunately. You don't really know what you're getting until you've got it and until you've had some experience. Um, so those adhesive strips, we believe, were absolutely awful. And we know that the ones we used to get were. Um, since then, we have found actual decent suppliers of them. Um, so we know that the strips we're getting are good. And we also learned how to actually fit them properly. Because it's not just a case of sticking them on. Um, it's a case of heating. Sorry, you guys probably can't see this again. It's a case of having to heat them up. Sorry. Probably can't see very well. I'm just trying to get these flexes through here. So if I lift this board a little bit, they should just come through now. There you go. So, now they're in place. I can make sure that screen closes up nicely. Set it down here. Plug it all in. And what I will do, that's all in. Then stick this on, get all the screws back in. Sorry, excuse the noise. Sorry about that, I just had a customer come in and I sort of forgot to start recording again. So um, I've just put all the screws back in this. So I've done the adhesive, which you saw. Um, I've just put all the screws back in. Um, I have cleaned the back glass and put new adhesive on there. Um, so now it's just a case of sticking it down. And sealing it up with some clamps so um, I mean that's that's it basically um, it's all about doing these things properly using the correct adhesive um, knowing how to seal it up after like I say with 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 the pre-cut strips it's just a case of um, eat it before you seal um, with the B7000, it's just a case of seal it as soon as possible. Um, start clamping as soon as you can. So, I mean, we repair all makes, models, and faults on smartphones. We don't just repair iPhones like a lot of the competition. We will repair anything. So, from board repairs 
screens and batteries if you've broken it we can fix it or even saying that if another company has broken it we can probably fix it and um, we spend a lot of time putting right other people's bodge job repairs so uh, if you've been to a local repair shop um, I mean there's quite a few to choose from and um, I must say we have seen repairs from that have been bought to us after most of them now and um, we are very well known as sort of the people that put right the other repairers problems so uh, if you have a device you've taken elsewhere if you have a faulty um, device anywhere um, please feel free to get in touch and um, I'm sure that we can help so that is Rory Pratt from Pratt's Pods repairing the devices that others don't want to or can't so uh, like I say if you need if you have any questions